Hey everyone, Pastor Mike here, New Life Church. Uh, I'm so excited because today I wanted to take the opportunity for you all to, to see and to meet the man behind the scene, uh, John Cafaza. John Cafaza has been the one who painted uh, this awesome Roman scene that's been the backdrop of our Romans series over the past few weeks. And uh, we're so blessed by that. Uh, John, many of you know, has been a, a blessing to New Life Church for many, many different ways. Uh, he is through whether it's through music or whether it's through leading uh, and leadership uh, on our leadership teams or whether it's uh, sharing his love of art. Uh, we've been so blessed. He's done some projects for us at Easter and um, um, Christmas time, and we're just thankful for this one uh, for the summer. So, just had a few questions. Maybe you had some uh, wonderings about this uh, as well, just as I did, and I just wanted to kind of ask John a few of these questions that you might get some responses to. So John, how did you decide what you were going to paint? Mike, when the worship team asked me to create a landscape painting for uh, a way to complement the When in Rome sermon series, I began doing some reading and did some research. Uh, I looked at a lot of pictures. Uh, I actually looked at uh, two or three virtual walking tours of Rome and uh, the Roman Forum. And when I saw this layout, uh, I decided to do this painting uh, because I felt like it gave um, a good picture of the breadth um, of the city and this part of Rome as well as the ruins. And so you did a lot of research for this painting and uh, so you learned a lot about Rome. What is one of the things that uh, kind of really fascinated you that you, you learned about Rome in the research of this? Um, I've always been fascinated by Rome. I uh, studied a lot of art history in college. Uh, our family went to Rome uh, to visit Rome in uh, 2007, I think. And just seeing it, um, um, in pictures always fascinated me, but seeing it uh, on the ground uh, was just a, a real life changer for me in a lot of ways. But I think what uh, fascinates me more than anything else about this type of a setting um, is its history um, and the value of that history. And uh, I find that it's, for me personally, it's so important that we preserve ruins such as this uh, and, and places like this uh, so that we can continue to have that picture of history. John, you, you've been painting a long time and um, yet is this, this has got to be one of the largest projects you've ever done. Is that, is that accurate? Uh, it is. Um, Size-wise and on one piece, a painting with just one piece like this, one canvas, uh, is definitely the largest. And so I can imagine that there are things that were enjoyable <laughs> and um, about this and things that were difficult. What was one of the most difficult aspects of, of coming up with this creation? Well, due to its size, um, uh, one of the first things I had to do was to decide the, the material that I would use for the painting. And I decided to use acrylic paint on canvas. Um, finding the canvas of this size, which this is seven, feet tall by about 17 feet long. Uh, finding canvas that I could find in, in one piece um, uh, to accommodate this size was a challenge, but I did find it and uh, was happy to get it. Putting the frame behind it so that I could really begin painting, that was a little bit of a challenge that I hadn't anticipated, but did it uh, and was able to kind of get it up pretty quickly and start on it. So, so what about, in uh, enjoyment. I know that for you, painting is just something you completely enjoy. What What was it about this particular project um, that you enjoy? You know, just coming in um, every day and working on it and just sort of seeing it evolve. Um, doing the sketching of something of this size and scope and then putting the paint on the canvas and just every day sort of seeing the, the vision come to life was pretty fascinating for me as an artist so and uh, it, was, it was fun on this end to be able to see it progress and you took pictures all along the way we'll have to share some of those uh, at some point but um, John th this was a massive project um, friends this 
This was over a hundred hours uh, that took over 12 days just for the painting, not to mention the, the 16 hours it, it took for the, the research, for the building of the frame, for the getting the supplies and all of that. And so I, I guess what comes to my mind is, um, why do you keep sharing this gift of painting uh, to help tell the story of, of God? First of all, I really do enjoy doing this, and it's, it's, a, it's challenging my um, known abilities, um, but I do believe that God has gifted me with a love of art and um, a love of painting and other ways of expressing art. Um, and always when I do something like this, I approach it in a way that I hope that whatever the result is uh, will be pleasing to God and to the people that see it, and that maybe it'll point people to God in a little bit of a better way um, with a visual like something like this. Um, when I start a project like this, um, my experience at least with New Life and doing these to complement the series, um, you know, I ask God to give me um, strength to do it um, and, and the vision and, and ideas. And he always comes through with those things in a way that um, I don't have to worry too much about it because he gives me ideas, he gives me a vision, he gives me um, some ability that's continually evolving. Um, um, I get probably more blessing out of doing this personally than, than I realize most of the time. Um, I definitely um, see um, how um, stretching myself to do something like this um, is a blessing to me and is also um, helping me enhance my skill and the techniques that I'm using. So um, it's a lot of blessings coming into it and I'm just grateful to be able to share in that. I love it. And uh, we've already gotten the question, but the, the question is, is worth asking. What are your plans uh, with this painting when, when the series is over? Well, I hadn't given much thought to that. Um, I view this as a gift to the church. This is a, a piece of art that the church has um, uh, and can do with it whatever the church might want. Um, uh, I, I think I'm open to helping the church figure that out in terms of options for how it might be used here or somewhere else. Awesome. So, so whether it's um, finding its place in a, a local Italian restaurant or whatever it is, maybe take a moment, post below uh, some of your thoughts about um, you know, what might happen to this awesome piece of art following the series or um, just any questions that you have for John. We're going to try and take a, a few moments uh, to also develop something where John explains uh, just a little bit about each section uh, in the city landscape. And, um, but we are hoping that you are having a great week and we are hoping that um, just as the week goes by, you're able to lean more and more upon God and upon each other. We look forward to seeing you in worship on Sunday at 1045 a.m. Uh, if you have young children, we hope that you'll tune in at 10 a.m. Uh, with our family ministry Ash director, Ashley Pride. And uh, hope you're having a great week. God bless.